since way back. Got hoes since way back. You know, since way back. We flip bows since way back. We've been friends since way back. Made in since way back. How it's been since way back. Since back then. Can't change that. We've been so, uh. That trailer is interesting. It's I don't know if you got a chance to check it out there or not, but it's uh, uh yeah, I was watching a little bit of it. Yeah. Um <laughs> so say I like the Facebook live that they were doing on there. Yeah, is it, it's It was very uh kind of uh I don't know what what would you call it like not coincidental but ironic. And then not really ironic, but it's 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 just one of those things. It's like, hey, they're also on Facebook Live. Everyone's on Facebook Live. But uh, yeah, did you uh, did you get to read some of the comics this week? Um, you know, I read a few. <laughs> That's how I was feeling. It's like um, I never got to all the to one. Figure out what I read here, actually. Now that I have my. Hey, you I know what? I, I can go here. Let's see what I read. Uh, uh, so this book was actually pretty cool. Wind. I don't know if you got to check that out yet. No, I haven't seen um, that one yet. This is from the writer who's doing Batman, James Tinian. And this is actually kind of a weird drop uh, from Boom Studios publishers who did this one. And um, it was um, it was kind of last minute that they threw it in the solicitations. So it was literally like, I think three weeks before the book was supposed to come out and they're like hey secretly we're gonna drop this book and it's gonna come out and uh now you have to try to get it now <laughs> so the, the comic shops had to order whatever they could and uh actually originally this was supposed to be a graphic novel it was not supposed to be uh, released as a single issues oh um, so yeah um, i wonder what changed that. on it yeah, I guess I just know. the situation of the world, yeah, maybe. Yeah, just the world, yeah. Maybe they just wanted to give this out, like, now. And uh, it's supposed to be kind of, like, a little... It has a little... Um, it's not full take for an adult, but it does have a little bit of... Um, I guess you could say it's from more of a young adult reader, kind of. But but it still is a pretty good read. I would check it out. It is nice. uh, pretty awesome just to check out. Um, so there was that one. Um, Middle West, which I'm pretty glad to finally be finishing up. That one's actually going to be ending next month. Uh, on issue number 18 um, this one's been written by Scotty Young and uh, drawn by Jerome Opinia I think nice. no, Jorge Corona sorry Jorge Corona sorry I'm waiting oh. he's like whoops Jorge totally Corona. wrong you're gonna get us punched <laughs> yeah. up in here and this one's been pretty good too this is about um, I don't know if I told you about this one but this one's kind of been more about the son and father's relationship and okay. uh, I think uh the mother leaving and then the father just being really really hateful towards the son towards the end and what ends up happening towards uh, what, uh, the son is that he turns into a uh, tornado because of his anger just is uncontrollable same thing happens to his father because he just gets so angry too uh he they, they both turn into uh these tornadoes they have this mark on them too as well that just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger the more you know anger that comes upon them and so hmm. it's really cool the son runs away and it's this adventure with him and his little fox little friend okay <laughs> that talks to him seems uh, cool so there's it's a fantasy there's magic involved um yeah it's really cool i really liked it it was an enjoyable read i remember reading that one um Another one, which one, which was written as a graphic, or not graphic novel, but was written as just a novel, was Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and his uh, son. Oh, um, that does sound Owen good. King. Owen King. I think I heard about them doing because they had talked about that for months coming up, where they were like, "Hey, they're doing a comic book or something with his." Yeah, yeah. So yeah. They wanted to do, uh, and it's uh, been an interesting read as well. Um, so yeah, I would uh, definitely check this one out if you guys want to check some horror out. Um, this one's been a fun read too. I had to pick this up. I don't know if you've been reading this one. Uh, Transformers and. Uh, Transformers oh, I didn't know there. they had the cross. No, I did. I would have. Oh yeah. no, you know what? I did check that out for a second. Now that I think about it, yeah. I just. It's been it's been a fun read. I liked the, it. Second the, issue was good. It, my thing about those is like it's always fun to read them because they they're you know you have your two two of your favorite things hopefully mashing mm -hmm. up, but it's. I, they always, not always, there are very few times they don't, where you just get these really pandery, like, let's just mash two universes together and, like, have these combo characters and stuff instead of, like, having, like, unique interactions between these universes, like, uh, like, one of mine would have always been, like, a cool thing that they never did, it was like, alright, what if so, uh, what if the, uh, Quicksilver was, like, so, like, while they were in the DC universe, suddenly able to, like, channel it into the Speed Force. 
Oh, okay. That you know what I mean? Cool. Just little things yeah. like that, like interactions yeah. that would make sense. And then even like, as opposed to like, well, let's just throw Batman and Wolverine together because there are two most popular titles at this time. Like, don't get me wrong. They made that work pretty well. Dark Claw's background and all his characters and villains even worked pretty well the way they did them. But I just felt like that that style of uh, doing that is kind of pandery. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. oh, they did the same thing with He-Man and... Um, what was it? Uh, He-Man and Thundercats. Th oh, He-Man and Thundercats was the same. That one I heard wasn't too good, but, you know, honestly, they did a pretty okay job of, you know, kind of intertwining the the kind of the storylines because now the turn you know I, you kind of read the issue a little bit the term yeah comes back and yeah and that and that's the thing is like it's always about how it's written and, and done well so, it's just that so i feel like most of the time not all the time because there's a couple instances where that's not the case um one of the dc marvel crossovers is like that the judge dread and alien predator one is one pretty decent okay. it just I didn't do the so much cool. of the pandering they, it would have been cool because, you know, they did do that mashup of the mutants and the, the aliens. Yeah, but that's that actually... Right, a, but... That was, like, classic alien stuff, though. That's not necessarily a pander because that's what the alien does anyway. No, so... I, yeah, other than that, it was I, an okay raid. And then I think that one, I t why I didn't like it was because it, it took so long to finish. It did take a while. It yeah. a very long time. So, they did. And uh, it wasn't, like, the best story, but I just felt the way that they wrote it in. It's like, oh, well, why are they here? Yeah. Well, they're the, the enemy scientist is experimenting on illegal aliens. and Yeah. They, that, they weren't I, like, let's just make a Judge Dread Predator. You know what I mean? Which yeah. is what I was waiting and expecting. But well, it, and then they uh, they came out with this too. I finished this one. This was the fifth issue for. See, uh, they've been doing pretty good. Whenever the Human T crosses over, are pretty good. And the Power Rangers has been really good with Boom Studios. Like I've been really liking uh, more from Power Rangers with them. Um, they're supposed to be getting ready for another big event. Um, they're, I have, to, I have to show it to you guys later, but like it, the, the these new villains that they showed at the end were kind of crazy. At the I think it was issue fifty they're already on right now. It uh, makes sense. They, I mean, they've been out more than eight. I mean, I'm surprised they're only no, because they only picked them up a little over. It's been it's been a while now, so that one's been out. Um, my Gideon Falls, I've finally been trying to finish up. Nice. Um, that's the other thing. Sometimes you just gotta wait for things to finish. Yeah. Because they move. That's how I felt oh, with. Oh, Thor. Thor was pretty good. I was gonna as, ask you about that because of the whole Black Winter thing. Um, a lot of people and the uh, course speculators are all hyped up about it, but then the thing is, like, I don't know if I can take this as a first appearance, though. This character, uh, I don't want to show it off right now. Yeah. I don't anything, but um, they um. I don't know, because, you know, it looks like from reading the story, he was just taking shapes, you know, upon other things you've known in life. And when they kind of showed that big reveal, I was like, is that really like what he's really is? Or yeah, is this what he looks like? Who is taking? it? And <sighs> it's one of those reasons that <sighs> I've, we, and we've talked about. I want to do a whole video on it for the channel at one point where we just talk about uh like comic debates and logic and things like that like all right because he says this does that mean that that's fact right he mm -hmm. says that my my punch is stronger than a hurricane mm -hmm. does do we take that at face value and say all right well that's true he yeah. said his punch is stronger than a hurricane uh-huh or it, yeah or the big bombshell of i don't even want to say it either but the big bombshell of galactus and that you know, yeah galactus the hero too. yeah I don't want to so, say I don't want to spoil things for if people are watching, but it, it is I one of those that things. Was like, wow, hmm, Donnie's really rewriting uh, some big history. <laughs> that is pretty big. To be fair, Galactus's backstory gets rewritten every ten years. Yeah. So. Just think I about mean, the last we'll, we'll, we had, because we had you know? we had uh, a Braxis, right? Remember when we had a Braxis, and that was the whole thing in like the early '90s, and then in 2000s, then we got. The Franklin Richard dynamic, which was that, oh, yeah. that, uh, or not even the Franklin Richard dynamic, but the dying universe dynamic, which had kind of already been there, but they just furthered it in saying, like, no, Galactus was actually merging with the, the portion of the universe at the end of the universe, you know, all life remaining in the universe merged with Galactus and they became the destroyer of the new universe to bring cosmic balance, which, was always a little bit obscure because he first he fought the Celestials and then, it, I mean, someone 
obviously there's people who are going to probably shit all over us for the facts or whatnot behind that. But I don't know exact dates and times. I just know the general histories from reading and watching and trying to get info on it. And as far as I know, I mean, it's cool. It's a cool idea, right? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. But, I, like, I like where this is going. But my problem is... My problem is multifold. One, and I think they already did give... They gave... I love that Donny Cates made fun of Darkseid during that. Uh, your, cam your camera went way... Oh, yeah, sorry. That one's the... <laughs> I, I got pushed something else over and the whole thing moved. But that one's the one for you. I got another camera for the other one. I got a lot of cameras. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, you're saying... But he was... He actually took a jab at DC and Darkseid with uh, Black Winter in that... Count oh, comic print. Uh, so when it. you see the like the un the universe in his palm or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, and he's like, "I am the," they're talk they're making fun of uh, true form dark side being like outside of the multiverse. Like oh, okay. it's just like a light jab. It's not like a super like big thing, but it's it's the paneling and the phrasing are super similar, and it's just interesting to see. You know what I mean? Uh, once again, my big thing about it is how it reframes the Marvel cosmology, right? And what that does to, like, characters like Galactus. Like, especially for a long time, like, characters like Galactus and Silver Surfer will be brought on in very selective cases that they'll be just put in bad writing. Like, people won't use their... I mean, that's it has to be done in a lot of cases to make them work. Because, I mean, what are you going to do with... I remember reading the one where it's like, I could just expand your molecules till you explode. And it's like, yeah, I don't think that there's much you can do about that. <laughs> he said that he could turn you into lead or something. And it was like, yeah. I mean, he's like walking plot armor, basically. The, the power cosmic's basically BS, you know. It's like, whatever I want it to do. I remember even there's one uh, where he's like, how are you helping me breathe? The power cosmic and floating... Power cosmic. <laughs> it is like power cosmic. That's how I've basically felt about it. But at at the same time, it gave like a clear kind of level of like you have Galactus, right? Like mm -hmm. that's a level. You know what I mean? There's he's something you judge other characters in Marvel by. Like you're like, all right, are they as strong as Galactus? Ah, you know, Thanos is strong, but is he as strong as Galactus? Man. Mm -hmm. eh. Which arguably, you know, depending on the version and the form and the time, but, you know, Galact that's how I feel like Galactus is in a lot of ways. And yeah, so, yeah. what that's going to do with Black Winter being now this next thing is going to be a whole nother run. Because for... Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll have to see where it's... Yeah, I really want to see where it's going to play out. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's... interesting. Oh, it for sure. Cool. I mean, Kate's always does... I saw one where people were like, Zack Snyder or Kate's? And I was like, I know I'm biased because I don't like that all he <laughs> does is Batman and everything else is like me. But... uh me. But I'm just like, man, Kate's imagination is always what pulls me back. His way to, like, bring new sauce to characters that you would think didn't have any more, like... Especially something like Thor, which had just gotten such good runs from Aaron. And don't get me wrong, it's not even to say, like, this yeah. run is as good as Aaron's or anything. I'm just no, saying no, it's no, no. nice to part... see new ideas. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's, it's, you know, Donny Cates, to me, he's he's kind of like that, that heavy metal kind of writer. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that you say that because he does... I feel like... And, and, and so DC heads will be like, oh, no, it's the other way around. I feel like Dark Knights and Dark Knights Metal really cops a lot off of the style of what Donnie does in a lot of ways. Especially of these alt-verse characters and the mashing of ways they go together. Like, dude, I watched, I read and watched a bunch of the, like, Dark Knights and Dark Knights Metal that just came out. And I was like, man, this just reminds me a lot of Thanos wins. <laughs> Same with, uh, no one will like me saying that, but same with freaking uh, Apocalypse Wars, which was funny to me. Even though Apocalypse Wars was based on a thing that came first. So that's why I know D-Said Heads will be like, you're copying, and that's why I said it. it's It's copped from that, but that one's copped from there. But then there are also people who think that Batman vs. Superman was Marvel's inspiration to make Civil War, as opposed to, you know, the comic series. Yeah. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> that it was named after. Yeah, it was always one of those ones. I think that's pretty much it that I had so far that I was, you know, good, good super reads. I did read Immortal Hulk. <laughs> yeah, which um, was pretty good. That one, you know, 
Yeah, so I right. go back and read a Mortal Hulk a little The bit. problem I'm is I feel like it's I don't even so think much... I'm lost. I think there's losing a little steam right now because there's just so much going. I think that's it. They is. have these um, like deep tide roots moving in, which is cool and it sets up a lot, but because yeah. of that it's like legit it's like boring sometimes. <laughs> it's just slow. I mean, it slow, it which sucks cuz the early parts weren't necessarily fast, but I feel like the tension was better and that yeah, we no longer yeah. have that in some ways. Yeah, um no, I'm just it, looking for it to hit its next rise, you know what I mean? It's supposed to be ending on issue I think 50 is with uh the artist confirmed. I think it was issue 50. What are we on now? I don't even uh, know. I just had thought it. we were like twenty it was something. Like on thirty-five, yeah. We're really, on thirty-five? Yeah. Jeez. Mm -hmm. So we only got fifteen issues, and I don't know what they're gonna do with them because they had so much big stuff, like you said, going on that I was excited for the, all the stuff with Franklin Richards and all yeah, the stuff with so any much. right. Yeah. And and it was one of those ones where you're always just like, well, what's going on? You had the one below all, which was another one of Donny Cates' really great. So like, I remember someone. Uh, uh, post right that really was trying to push it and they're like one of one below all above all other abstract entities including one above all and i was like come on man if you if we're taking it by like cosmology and the way that things work that's like not even physically possible <laughs> <laughs> but let's just say he was then he'd win that'd be it He'd be the strongest. That's not how multiverse verses work. There has to be a balance. Let's see what else was I kind of excited to read. I have not read this yet. I've been wanting to read uh, the Empire. Yeah, um, I've. I haven't, I haven't started it yet. I, um, I want to read started, the but... one that was before this. I think it was like the handbook or something. There was a couple um, things. They, you know how it is with these. They always have a million billion things yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. Less though, so um, this time with Empire because there was the whole thing going on. There's actually not as many for Empire. Yeah, they, well, they canceled a few books. Well, they had so to. I, I mean, I, well, there was some that even got. Ah, uh, yeah, you, yeah, we remember, talked about that one. Yeah. I don't know if you remember the New Warriors one. That one yeah. was a big, big no-no for a lot of people. They're like, "Well, this just looks like crap that you guys are just gonna give us." And it, it kind of did look like crap. I, yeah. it, you know, it, I only wanted to read it because Night Thrasher was in it. So I was like, "Oh, cool, Night Thrasher." Like, <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. I'll read him for that. But then when they started oh, explaining more time. of the characters involved, I'm like. I don't know. These don't yeah. sound very interesting. And uh, and then uh, another one that we haven't heard about is uh, Children of a Adam, which was another one I think that kind of got some backlash to as well. Yeah. That was supposed to be that X-Men book that was supposed to come out as well. Uh, that ones that look kind of like exactly like one looked like Cyclops, the other one looked like Jean Grey, the other one. I, yeah, I, I, I didn't know I what they were doing with that. How did this get in the way? Oh no, that's <laughs> it wasn't in the way. I forgot I have it set to the side. But I was like, what the, is this in the way? There was the, that one that I know for those two are for sure the ones that uh, got canceled or not canceled, but just that just nothing's been said. So right, so we that don't know where they've just. Shh, don't say nothing. If you Do don't you say anything, they'll forget exists. Yes, with, uh, but it's because he said nothing about nothing. it. There was like Bro. no. Like it got, it got shut they down. they were going like, to do the just, movie it and it just happened. never got pushed forward. You got to remember they they work so in tandem now with the movies that if any time like one of the movie yeah, scenes no, they that go, they got yeah, going is exactly. down, which is funny because I hear that now uh, Warner Brothers is finally doing similar things with their they fight they're like all right we learned and they're trying to keep it all. Wait, you know, kind of get people to get in the comics because you know some people might be like, oh yeah, I really like that. I kind of actually want to go read some books. And then when you go to the comic store, what do you know? They just came out with a Black Widow book that came out with the the movie. Right. So I'm like, so, alrighty, I'll read that. Why not? But so, yeah, I mean, it's a good marketing strategy. I no, I mean, it, it's that, not bad as long as you do it correctly and don't like just drop just good like ideas. They, I feel like they do it too much now. And right, you like... gotta have standalone comic ideas that are good ideas by yeah, themselves, like that Blade one was. Oh, Shang Chi's coming out, so let's just do a Shang Chi movie or a comic book. Which uh, I mean, I've always wanted a Shang Chi comic book, so I'm happy about it. But <laughs> I had to wait till they made a movie instead of I, waiting I, for a good story. I really hope they do a good job. Though, That's the thing; you have to do a good story or it actually is not beneficial to the comic book you know what i mean like or the other way around to the movie like if you do a bad comic for your movie coming out 
same with a bad movie for your comic book. It's just gonna like bring negative aspects of them coming through, and that's yeah. that's just the truth. Like, I mean, obviously, maybe not gonna be affecting each other all that bad, but that's just gonna have the effect for especially for people in the comic community who read it. Like, we we care, you know what I mean? As opposed to maybe other yeah. people who don't care as much. The, the other one that I was kind of excited to read, but hasn't nothing's been said about it. The Werewolf by Night was supposed to come out as well. Uh, I don't know if you remember that one being solicited uh, right before all this happened. In I kind of do, but I had like, I mean, it was one of those ones where I was like, uh, I don't know how the monster movie cinema universe is going to end up right now, because yeah, there there no. are doing things like that. So it's like, mm, I mean. Yeah. So I wasn't too worried I, about it, but I mean... I just like horror stuff, so I was like, oh, I'll check that out, and we'll, we'll read some more of the Werewolf by Night stuff. We'll see. Um, I, what else? I can't I can't think of anything else. Let's, oh, I think there was a couple things that, like, um, Alex Ross had planned out that uh, his whole little kind of event, too, that was supposed to go on. That one kind of got canceled as well. I haven't heard mm. anything for that, too. That sucks, because he's um, a really good artist and storyteller. No, he like, there, he really deserves that. Snapshot books, but he's yeah, which is... Just... Yeah, I know. It's. I just Did wish they would the do more. Did you read the Captain America one yet? Yeah, the Snapshot Maverick. Yeah, I heard it one. was good. It's pretty good. I like it. I mean, Cap's an easy character to write, honestly. Like, if you can't write a Captain America story, it's because you don't understand what the well, fundamental... Th this, this is what I was like, what the hell is going on in here? Oh, man, it's... it's. <laughs> I, was like, what? I, I was flipping through, and I was like, this isn't Captain America. This doesn't happen in the... <laughs> in Captain like, America? But that's the thing. Like, when you read through a lot of the three, because I actually read a decent amount. Granted, the old Captain America being very different from the new Captain America, yeah. but some of the best Captain America stuff is him dealing with, like, modern-day problems and framing them through the classic American ideals. You know what I mean? And showing how you can modernize those ideals as opposed to, like, non-conforming to them. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I like these idea of these snapshots because I guess it's supposed to be within the eyes of a civilian. Like yeah, that's like story. from behind some... It reminds me of like the Newsweek concept where it's like the reporters telling you a story, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but just a so, different version of that. So I like it. I mean, it's a cool concept and it's based off the... the I guess you could say the first gen of the characters because you know iron man's wearing his old school oh yeah i mean outfit. they love going Falcon's wearing the red outfit still they they love giving shout outs to the old school well because one a lot of the old school heads are super mad for no reason a lot of the time i feel like they're like politics and comics and things it's like did you not like oh, read these comics before. right like it's not like that's new like once again i always get down to like all right what is a superhero somebody who breaks the law in order to uphold justice mm-hmm what else um, do you call that? But like, it's political. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of excited for us to read the, the Cyclops one. Oh know, like yeah, one. that's gonna be fun. I just like these these covers are so beautiful by him. Alex Dude, Ross anything Alex amazing. Ross does looks <laughs> awesome. He's just got it in him, man. He's got, He's got, got that skills. Coming out for uh, September. <sighs> I think too... they're called the Marvel something. I'm too broke to buy regulars, them. let alone variants, man. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> no. Uh, no, this, this, uh, since I haven't been spending so much since comics are slowly coming out, I spent a little bit on some exclusive books, but um, the, the Peach Momomoko craze is uh, is out there. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a Japanese artist. That's yeah, really I've good, seen her stuff. Really good. I've, uh, uh, I'm in that area because of like my art friends and stuff who do like oh, commissions right. and stuff. Nice. I don't like do anything, but I just am around all kinds of things, and I'm oh, like, okay, cool. I'm like, oh, okay. They'll show share something. And it's like, oh, here's bubbles in this style or something, because they'll do the run, and I'm like, all right, who's this? Cool. I like, I like to oh, she's got an interesting. Style. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and she, I mean, her horror style is much. I love her horror style, like, cause she actually has. If you go watch a little bit there, she she's even said she has. Uh, she's tweaked her style a little bit since she's done a lot of more western stuff yeah um so she's made it a little bit different but she's now said that she's gonna actually just kind of go back to her old style which i kind of like her old style a lot better it's really cool her her like horror stuff is just really out there yeah um, it's it's almost like she's like kind of like on hr giggers kind of level of kind of creepy heart like just out there there's this one where she has like the bunch of holes on this person's face yeah they I, like to utilize a lot of people like to utilize those psychological effects for those i like those but i like yeah. when they do ones that are once again there's a lot of artists who are just really good at depicting horror feelings through art mm -hmm. uh, there's ones uh 
Juji Ito has always been my favorite because his art's uh, yeah, not exactly. Like his, that, his, it's great because his art's not exactly impressive, but the yeah. but the tone and the feeling that he is able to create with it That's is exactly how Peach's work is. Exactly, yeah. it's not like it's not like super 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 detailed, but like right or gross even sometimes. Like sometimes it is gross, but it's it just he's very good i remember the one because it was like a it's a book of short stories by him as opposed to like a full series and there'd be like five pages a piece so that's like not a lot of time or even a page a piece sometimes where it's like you know under the thing under your bed but he's really good at using art to like make you feel a way like disproportionizing some kind of creature or something or like grasping onto a very like basic fear that's common for people uh like the the being watched or being followed home one you know what i mean he'll do something where it's like you know it'll only not look at you if you don't look at it it's it's it, he's he's very good at it in the the little piece oh, now i gotta now i want to go read more junji ito and there's other ones that do a decent job like because i feel like there's a lot of different ways to do horror art like you have the kind of like uh, shock factor horror which is usually very detailed and kind of has like gore or uh kind of vis not like viscera but like some kind of monsterish thing you know like mm -hmm. and then once again you have things that just like have the tone of the drawing and you have those that have both obviously but mm -hmm. i feel like those are kind of some of the split for that so let's see oh you know what they did release the uh the Cuphead show uh, trailer. I I did Netflix. I did see the uh, the link it for looks, that, but I didn't it looks see the trailer. Really good, bro. I, I it, they did they did a good job because it it does that same effect if it feels like it's that nineteen. That's gonna 40s, be cool. I style. I saw the art at first and I was like, oh, man, I'm gonna have a tough time like going through. But as long as the comedy's on point, I think the art leads into it well. Like the yeah. old 1920s slapstick comedy makes way for most other comedy. Mm -hmm. um it really is a lot of the basis of comedy is physical comedy so like going off of that they just need to make sure it has the proper kind of like dark and adult humor that would follow a game like clubhead um yeah because yeah, it's not like necessarily a kids i'm i thought that's what i thought was that it wasn't a kid's show but it's I'm, definitely I don't yeah because <laughs> i like i said i haven't seen the trailer but i i just game, assume when you play the game it's the, the yeah and some of it it's like it's pretty not very kid friendly no no the, not at all there's a bunch so. of weird going on in cuphead man like yeah i haven't did the dlc drop for that oh uh, i don't even remember i was just gonna grab it on because i just got uh xbox game pass for pc so I can oh, play all the games you? on there, yeah. But can't you just play it on your uh, Xbox too, since you have? A yeah, but it's easier to stream from the Xbox PC. Oh yeah, 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 that's true. S super you easy. Don't need a game capture card. You just. That's uh, I you then. also, I learned, don't need Xbox Live for a lot of the games on Game Pass for PC. Yeah, no, you just download it. Yeah, you can yep. download a few of them. I've looked up that Cuphead is actually one of them. That yep, you can just that's why I was looking because I was, and the reason I got it is I was looking for stuff for our gaming crew to do stuff for the live runs. And so I think we grabbed Sea of Thieves first because it was just free and easy. Sea of Thieves, you know, let me know if you play that. I'll download it because I've it's pretty to play decent. It, the thing is, you, you have, have to have people. people. Yes, that's the that's thing. Exactly, yeah. I and I got a couple of my guys to do it because we were able to, you know, a dollar a month for the PC Game Pass or whatever. Yeah. And uh, so we play a bit. I don't know how often we'll play or what we'll do, but we definitely. And that's the other thing I like about Sea of Thieves is it doesn't matter when you get on. There's no progression. Just, yeah, yeah, you just, just play. It's like, oh, her. there are other people on. We'll go do stuff. Because there's literally, like, it's. I think it's all vanity buys, basically. There's no leveling. Okay. There's no equipment yes. upping. So, yeah, it really, play, yeah. Because I definitely wanted to check it out. Like, 90% like of said, what like I do on that game is hop on and talk like a pirate. <laughs> That's all I want to do is I want, Yar, I'm a pirate, you bitch. <laughs> 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 oh, are they coming up on the left? You mean port? I don't speak sailor. <laughs> Yar. Oh, uh, so, uh, so uh, another dude, uh, <laughs> live action Magic School Bus. Uh, I did. Elizabeth Banks. I did see that is, one. Oh, I do like her. I, I like, like her. her. Uh, she should make a fine Miss Frizzle. I th I don't. I think the problem is there's no, like it would take an extraordinary amount of production for them to meet the expectations of an entire generation of kids dreams that was the school you know what i mean like they're yeah. trying to live up to nostalgia and that is really hard to do 
I mean, I, I did watch the new show, the new uh, version of it with my son, and I mean, they did a pretty good job of uh, kind of updating. Oh, it's yeah. not Miss Frizzle, it's her, her niece, I think. The, the, yeah, I think it's her niece. That's yeah, cool. That is, ends up being the new teacher, and uh, they do a pretty good job of it. It, was, it wasn't too bad. So we, I, I think they even came out the, another se- uh, sec- second That's cool. I mean, I've well. heard that it's – I haven't heard of that one, but I've heard, you know, that – that's why it's being made is that the oh. series is not like 100 percent, but like the, why would you make yeah. a you know what i mean if the series well, wasn't doing well you wouldn't make yeah, a movie they, they're like oh there's still love for the show yeah there's and there definitely movie. is and i think that once again i i hope they pour the because i really don't it's never about i feel like money but about detail and attention for the movies like that mm-hmm. that like You've, I hope it's gonna be very whimsical. It has, it has to, to be because it's like, okay, well, we're just gonna turn into frogs, mother, and turn and then speak to a, a, a an amoeba or some because <laughs> this is magic school bus, magic school bus. Like there was no science <laughs> behind this. Like it didn't make sense. They tried to like half the time where it's like, okay, how do we breathe down here? We're in the bus. <laughs> Magic. We're, like, not, remember, we're not worried about that part. It's, just, it's, the, it's the power cosmic, okay? It's the power cosmic. It's fine. Um, just trying to teach you something. Don't worry okay, about Okay, that's my new headcanon is that Miss Frizzle was a, uh, a herald of Galactus and possessed the planet <laughs> power cosmic. That's how she was able to... Because she did some wild, like... Dude, she's... Like, Miss Frizzle versus Superman, yo. <laughs> I was just... Oh. I'm, ki- I'm kidding, but like... Uh. You ha- and then, uh, let's see then... So yeah, I'm excited for that. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Don't yeah. Know that would drop, but uh. Once again, that's that was that that you know what that reminds me of is that that's like the new when new, uh, Bill Nye got his new show kind of. It wasn't for kids still, but it was like at least in the same vein yeah. of like. Yeah, I did like to check. I did enjoy it. It was some enjoyable things to watch <clears> of it. And it, it was, was cool. cool. That he knew that he couldn't go that kid route because he's like a lot of my viewers are mostly now grown. So he was, you know. Yeah, he's not he's not. Route again. Yeah, he's not a dumb guy. I mean, you know, as much shit as people give him for like, oh, do you have a degree? He's like, well, actually, yes. And then I also have two honorary degrees in the sub- these other subjects. But uh, yeah. I, I I think that's cool when they bring back old ideas and do them correctly. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, another game that I'm excited for. Finally, they showed some gameplay trailer off of it. Uh, have you checked out that game called Bio Mutant? Bio Mutant. I that it's, sounds familiar. It's, it's where you play as like these cats that are like who can like do all these like crazy. You need to look it up. I think Just, I may if have. If you haven't seen it, look up Bio Mutants, and you're gonna be like. I gotta play this game. I gotta play this <laughs> game. I'm down. I need a new game to play today because once again, I'm gonna do. I actually gotta edit those later. That's probably what I'll do after this. Is go edit these, see if these so, cuts into little episodes and see how that goes. Yeah. But. Well, they haven't. Uh, I guess it's for pre-order finally. Uh, nice. You can go ahead and go on Steam, or uh, to go ahead and pre-order. I don't know when it's supposed to drop yet. I always wait. I I never do pre-orders anymore because I after I did No Man's Sky, I just. I stopped getting games that I didn't know I would, or I didn't care if they were good. So, like, if I didn't care if it was good, like, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, I didn't care. I was buying that. Like, there was no way I was going to buy it because I'm dumb. But certain games, I'm like, I'm just going to wait and see how the reviews actually are because I've had too many games that were supposed to be lit. For example, The Last of Us 2. Which is getting so much bullshit. Like, is it? I heard oh, a lot of people no. liked it. Really? Yeah, I, like a lot of people are giving it shit. I mean, a lot of people Maybe like it as well. Half and half, yeah, I think it is going to be, half but half but half. for something that came from a such loved place of like, all right, Last of Us Two, it's going to be the best. It's going to be a great game. To yes. a half and half response. Bio Mutant comes out yes this December. And all right, that the, gives me time. Here's the kind of you can see. Oh, it. all right, yeah, the, I have seen of this one. You've seen that, right? Yeah, yeah the, I I can see from here. Once you get too close, I actually can't. But I do remember the sword wielding cat. It, it's yo the combos and the gameplay. Uh, it looks, looks pretty cool. It looks also, interesting check, for sure. I'll check that one out. So I'm I'm, I'm going for that one. I'm, I'm interested for uh, it for sure. It's a THQ Nordic uh, game too, so they hmm. always do some pretty cool stuff. So we'll check it out. Um, Chicken Run uh, 2 is coming to Netflix. I, yep, I saw that 10 years later, however many years later. <laughs> they're back they to run. That. Dude, at, they, re- they, they, they've they done it for all these shows. They got, they're trying to get the Proud Family back. They're going to try to get Gargoyle. Oh, like, 
I'm so excited that Proud Family. I'm, dude, I am so excited, but then you just feel like you gotta pick the good ones. Not and no offense against Chicken Run. Chicken Run was a good film, but there's like 20 good things that I need finished before we get a second <laughs> Chicken Run. I need. Oh uh, man, you know what I mean? That's like yeah, I did yeah. my waiting 10 years of it, and you gave me Chicken Run. And uh, let's see, uh, this July, uh, Unsolved Mysteries is premiering on Unsolved Netflix Mysteries. as well. It's a, it's an also, I think, 90s to 2000s show that was I can't remember pretty popular it. back in the day. I remember watching a few of them, too. They're, I, uh, they're pretty, pretty I good. Actually, it sounds familiar, but I don't think I really watched it as one of my things. I was yeah, like more about been, MX, yeah. or yeah. M what was it, MXC. <laughs> that was the shit I was watching back during the 90s. Uh, Looks like we got Transformers, The War for Cybertron, uh, the animated for Netflix on July 30th as well oh, as dropping. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so oh, I that. do know, I don't, oh, no, it's not dropping, but they have another teaser for Tower of God. Not Tower of God, God of High School, which is the other great oh, Korean okay. one coming out. Okay. And Tower of God actually just finished its first season, I believe, so that's cool. That's good, good to hear. Although, um, I think there people are trying to slot it in for best anime of the season, and I personally don't agree it, it just okay. wasn't up to the like Where you wanted it just like my friend even said like the art style wasn't high as high quality as a show it like that deserved different from when you watch the um trailers it is a diff very the, different very the it just i feel like the line definition isn't there and the colors are really like flat and that's not to say that's bad but like compared like if you've ever seen the panels in the original one like he puts a lot of work into those panels man like that's one of the best thing about Korean manga is that they're colored so that the animators really don't have a lot to guess on. Like, they just have an adaption to make, which is not always easy I also, obviously. But it was just, like, it is such a, like, one that I thought was a good one that I wish it had gotten a better uh, okay. Okay. transition. And I'm hoping, though, that uh, God of High School does because I think it's being done by Madhouse. Hmm. So okay. they're from, everything they make looks amazing. Like, okay. pretty much everything. So. Nice. I'm excited. Right, well, we'll, see. we'll have to see how, how that next season two comes out then. But uh, did you hear about Crash Bandicoot? Then? I did. Out? Yes, it's like he's finally, and then they're just gonna make jokes about him being gone because he's a pop. Yeah, he's very been... cool. It looked. I like. You know. Okay, I'll say this because I know that they did come out with some other Crash Bandicoot games, which you can obviously see they did not mention those ones because this one's starting off as four. Um, because. The I remember the Xbox one that they came out. What was it called? Um, was, it was uh, like, you know what? We're gonna do this. So that one was them. a uh, very different. They, it was a. Oh, it was a. Uh, I don't think it was. They it consider it because it was in a. Game. Yeah. It was more of a uh, kind of open go go where you choose kind of pathway kind of game. It wasn't you know like your truthful like Crash Bandicoot game where like you know you just gotta go this way. Make sure you. you uh, hop these obstacles and stuff and all that um that one was not my favorite um i didn't even pick it up because of just watching trailers and stuff of it just man there are actually bad. quite a lot of yeah I came over quite a few. all right so for playstation we had crash bandicoot you could say they stopped probably at the warp time warp which would be Cor three. cortex stripe back then you had warped which is playstation then you had to switch to playstation 2 where you got the wrath of cortex Mm -hmm. uh, and then Twin Sanity, and these are both Xbox, PlayStation 2, and usually GameCube. Uh, and then Crash of the Titans, which I do remember. And that then one, that was the one Mind that was Over Mutant. And that was the last one, is Mind Over Mutant, that you get to see. Uh, after that, you, which was in 2008. After that, there are no more Crash games, and new Crash games until 2020. They did the remastered Crash games um, a couple years back. Yeah, I kind of just find that funny that they, they literally just said, those ones just don't exist, those last two. <laughs> uh, which is pretty good that they just said, no, they don't. There's actually like just... three or four of them after Warped. Was there? Okay. Yeah, there's Wrath of Cortex, which is one of my yeah. favorites, actually, if I remember that I just... one. See, I don't remember. That's the one where he does the suit, remember? Remember you get in the big mecha oh, suit like aliens? Yeah. That's the one where they had the rolling, the rolling circle one where you like got oh, in yeah. the rolling circle. I'm at it right now and that one like I think was my last favorite one. Back, right, where yeah, Twin shadow. Sanity wasn't the worst. That was the one where you got to play with Cortex. Cortex was on your team, I think, yeah, because I you were fighting some. 
That one was I where stopped, it kind of slipped a bit, but... I stopped playing after, uh, Time Warp. Or, um... Would be number three, basically. So yeah, that, warped. Yeah, that's where I stopped, then you had Crash that. of the Titans, which was probably where I think that one was the more worst, open the one. One of the worst ones they did. Yeah, that's the one I remember watching. Crash, because you had like, Crash, yeah, and Carbon Crash, and the Titan Snipe and Spike, yeah. and then then you had Mind Over Mutant, which I don't even. Yeah, I didn't even play this one. The art style changed. I think it was just weird. So no, the I'm art style didn't change that much. Back and they're bringing it back to a more kind of traditional kind of gameplay, but then also still kind of adding a bit. Well, a bit you bit saw back. like it looks like they're adding masks, which is one of the big changes. Yeah, no, that's cool. I like that they did that. I feel it, like they I did just... that in one of the older games, but not to this extent. Yeah. Because it looks like so, they got several new masks. So it looks cool. It looks fun. Um, excited to play it. Um, yeah, for sure. It's it's going back to that kind of Crash Bandicoot little roots again. You can tell for sure. Um, and then I, no, you know, also they added too was yeah, like you said, the masks were the masks added on different types of abilities, which they kind of did back in the old games, but they weren't like masks. They were just like things you acquired. Yeah, there. I can't remember game. what it was exactly that it was. It was like jewels, but it wasn't like a different mascot, which it looks like they're finally giving you more. But maybe there was. It's been a minute. What I'll have to do is go look online and go see like a history of Crash Bandicoot thing because you know how they do those. I watched one yeah. on Resident Evil. It was like seven parts in 20 hours. Ugh. <laughs> but that's, um, yeah. Smurfs lands on Nickelodeon. So they're going to come oh. out with a series. That one's coming out. Um, I'm excited for Warner Brothers going to do a Halloween tree movie, supposedly. That sounds interesting. Hmm. Um, Animorphs. Were you ever a big fan of Animorphs? I enjoyed them, but we never had enough of the books for me to get too deep into them. You always had like yeah. three Animorph books in the library. I, I always wanted to get more into it, but I, it was one of those shows that, again, just if you missed the show, you, you miss too much, and then it was like too late, and you're like, what's going on? Kind of. Type Why is thing. everyone from doing crazy <laughs> Especially because so, uh, Animorphs was like a more adult, young kids yeah, it was, thing. Yeah, it was more of a yeah, younger, younger. Reminds me of uh, Teen Titans, kind of. So, the original uh, movie, Teen Titans. Movie is coming out for that as well. Okay. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I'm kind of excited to check that out. Um, supposedly, uh, Studio Ghibli is going to do a first fully CGI movie, which is supposed to be by Miyazaki's son. Huh. I would. I never thought that would happen. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, you know how many Mizaki is with C CGI. Um, I've watched the video where he made a grown man cry <laughs> when they were showing him some like test footage of some CGI stuff, and he was like, "Why would we do this?" You know, like he's yeah, like, "This looks like this is, all, this is awful. This is garbage." Why would yeah, you show so, me garbage? I want to go watch that now. <laughs> it's bad. You should just go watch it. Just I just... Watch me, when Miyazaki makes real man cry. Oh my god, I'm so looking forward to it. I just, I don't know why, but like, I love seeing people that seem wholesome just destroying people. Oh my gosh. And then, uh, yeah, so that was, uh, that was pretty good. I, you know, the movie I did check out that was pretty good that you guys should, if you can, if you have Prime, check out Knives Out. It was really enjoyable film. I've actually um, heard of that. I don't that's know. That's with Jamie Lee Curtis. They had Chris okay. Evans. Um, it sounds it sounds familiar. I don't know who's checking it out. It's a it's a murder mystery show. So um or show uh movie. Sorry. Chris um, Evans was it? Is it? Uh is it, okay. I think I might know which one it is. Um. Yes, yeah, the one where he they're kind of sitting behind uh, a bunch of like knives as a chair kind of thing. I don't know if you've seen the trailer. Yeah. They had like a, the guy. Uh, had just they were all fake but they just he had a bunch of knives just set up to look all fancy like a big old yeah, throne or yeah yeah thrones type thing. Um, and then he has it, yo dude i i do i think i do remember because then he like try, at the end when he tries to get her with the one and it's the it's the the fake yeah or, yeah you have to watch it yeah it's i cool. think it's the, i think it might be a different one i'm thinking of it just reminds me of chris evans murder mystery thing i'm like mm, that sounds really familiar to something i just watched so, yeah, well, I checked that one out. That was pretty I gotta, good. I'm going to look. Um, I'm going to look and be sure. Another one that we liked was uh, Ford versus Ferrari. That was another great one. I heard that was really good. I haven't checked it out yet. Um. Oh, uh, Robert Kirkman is coming out with a... I believe it's just a one-shot, but he's doing uh, Negan. Uh, yeah, I did. Live. Yep, he's he's doing that one. I did here. I do think I, I've seen this one where they're trying to figure out, yep, and who gets the inheritance. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I did see it. it, and it yeah, and the, it was very good. I, I think I, I didn't see the entire thing. We I got like a good very, portion of it. Very many movies like that of uh, kind of a murder mystery, like the clue kind of type. I thing. feel like we 
don't in pop stream nowadays, but I think like the they're out there in different forms. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, probably. Just yeah, like I said, as a big major motion picture, I don't really get much of those ones. Too no, much. I think it's mostly uh, for TV now because of the way yeah. pacing is for those is a lot better built for I mystery. They did pretty good though. It was it was, it was cool. It was it was actually uh, <sighs> you know a little bit hard to tell who was going to be what was going on, but you know I thought it was just I thought it was just fun to see Chris Evans in that role yeah chris evans was pretty good it was it was an enjoyable film um eurovision song contest the story of fire saga i've heard of uh, someone will ferrell on yeah Netflix. yeah it's, it's a comedy uh and what elizabeth uh i forget her name she's the one that played uh from notebook she was uh geez you're just I killing me i don't remember either uh, rachel mcadams there we go that was okay great. Um, so she is uh, also um, in this movie, and uh, it's <laughs> it looks it looks it's uh, it's, like it's one of a, you know Will Ferrell's uh, Will Ferrell's yep Dutch. one of Will Ferrell's <laughs> classicists yep Clax classicists <laughs> yeah he so, he does a um, style of hit comedy I mean I enjoy it from time to time no yeah and it, uh, we haven't gotten anything of his like that for a while. for a while yeah I, I mean I'm, I'm trying to even think to of the last thing honestly where he did something like that exactly but yeah. I know. Yeah, exactly. But um, a, a, he has enough in his repertoire. He doesn't have to do any more if he doesn't want to right. either. So like, it's like, um, we're, we're getting closer to the end of our stream here. Do we got any uh, topics yeah, that are... Trying to go over, yeah, some last minute things here that I... I'm trying to think I of some Yeah, at least we talked about Last of Us, but then, uh, yeah. So I haven't got to play it. Um, Same. I, I actually haven't... It. I've gotten like one or two shots of footage, but nothing enough to make any kind of judgment. So I'm like, I'll just have to either play it or wait and watch it. So, yeah, there was yeah. a game that I saw that I wanted to get. Um, and I cannot remember what the hell it was. It was on Pass or if it was on this other one, but it was a game that was like Trials, but in reverse. You just go downhill. It's like called Descenders hmm. or something. Huh. It was okay. interesting. It was just like, ah, I've never seen another game like Trials quite like that that made any real impact or was anywhere that I could find that wasn't like a huh. weird little browser game. So I wonder okay. what it what it is that makes it unique. Well, I'm just going over my last minute list here, and I, um, I mean, when's Boys supposed to be dropping? The Boys too? <sighs> I don't remember. It's not too long away, but not too close. I don't think July something yet. Or okay. I think. Michael Let's Keaton's see. supposed to be playing a role in Batman's Flash movie. Did you hear about this? I did hear about that, yeah. I We'll see how that goes. So, oh, wow. That is not nearly as close as I thought it was. September 4th? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, wow. that's way farther than I thought. That Quite doesn't sound right. Here, then. That sounds like more than the last time i heard but you know and, coronavirus uh, I guess so skate 4 is uh, officially coming out yeah 10 years later <laughs> <laughs> once again what is it with these 10 year pauses between these video games everyone wanted 10 years ago attack yeah. of the block sequel is also uh being in the talks that's good did you watch that that movie yeah With i thought it was John pretty Boyaga? yeah i thought it was I a like good that. movie that was one of my one of my favorite ones oh that's one i wanted to talk to you about the Warrior Nun drops in uh, two days in here pretty soon. Check it out. It's a comic book from Antarctic Press. Okay. Um, really, really, really indie company. But I think you would like this this movie or this show. Actually, this... I think it's supposed to be a show. Okay. Um, but it Warrior drops Nun. in four days here. Yeah, ch check it out. Uh, Warrior Nuns. Uh, it looks really good. I'm excited to check it out. And you said it was based uh, off of a comic then. Yeah. Right? Check it out. Cool. Check out the comic too. Even if you check out the comic, you're like, wow, this looks like a kind of a wacky kind of story but but the the show does a pretty good job of uh yeah just making it really good so nice i want yeah we should check that out um one I, another thing i actually was excited for was that pokemon uh snapshot was coming back i did see I that yes it's, it's dude later. it's so dumb to me because it is the most dumb game out there and there it goes that good, again bro. i love snapshot yeah I'll tell you right it was it was so good it's such a huge dumb it, waste of time though it's so it useless so play, it really was because they would mess with you while you were trying to take shots so they run out of frame or some other bullcrap 
Yeah, oh, so. dude, it, it was looks, such it a pain. Gorgeous, though. Take some pictures of some Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, I'm ex I'm, you know, I'll probably so, get it. So, you know, who well, am I to talk shit? Really cool, yeah. yeah, but uh, uh Ian Mc... the last thing I just want to say. Oh is yeah, yeah. Ian McGregor is supposed to be voicing Jiminy Cricket in Guillermo del Toro's po Pinocchio animated <laughs> film. His Pokemon animated film. Oh God, not to Guillermo del Toro does Pokemon. It's gonna yeah, be Pokemon. a bloodbath. <laughs> Pinocchio. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that'll be cool. That and, uh, Who's doing yeah. Pinocchio? Uh, oh, uh, it's yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like that's what I wonder now because that's gonna be the main dynamic of the film now is him and basically Pinocchio. Yeah, yeah. And uh, last two things here is just a uh, Star Wars game. Uh, that Squadron. I was excited for that. Yeah, it looked good to hear about. Um, and the last one would be here is, uh, Earth is oh, in comic book world, uh, Green Goblin's supposed to be coming back. He's never gone for long. Yeah, yeah, so we'll see how they're going to bring him back. I'm um, excited. He's one of my favorite Spider-Man to... villains to date, so. Yeah, no, he is. Um, he's supposed to be starting off in that Sins uh, prelude, I think. Nice. I'm, I'm excited. Well, but... We need a, uh, we need a throwback to an old Spider-Man villain. Venom's not a one anymore. Doc's weird. No. Like, all the old Spidey villains are, like, not going, and all the new ones are, like, not sticking. So I'm just like... Give us something else, because we had Itsy Bitsy for a little, and then we had the whole Zodiac thing, and then both of those just kind of like... The, yeah, and then they still, we don't know anything about this Kindred guy. Dude, he's not even showing up in how long now. I mean, he shows up every once in a while, but the point is we still haven't gotten progression for it, which is the problem. But once again, it's not their fault when everything got pushed to a standstill, you know what I mean? I, I'm sure by now yeah. we may have gotten some progression. Anyway, uh, I think that yeah, should be that it. it. Yep. Pretty much it. And we'll catch you guys next time on Comic Convos. Thanks as always. Check out the Patreon and the Discords and all the great stuffs.